Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a burger shop. It kind of feels weird calling this place a burger shop. It almost doesn't sound right, but I didn't quite know what else to call it. It's basically just an unfranchised fast food burger place that you might typically find on a high street and it's a great place when you just want a nice, cheap, easy burger. Feel free to leave a comment and tell me what you'd call this place. I genuinely don't know what I should title this thing. Anyway, let's get started. This is the amount of space required to make your build. An 11 by 13 block area, as represented by the white concrete grid on the ground, which I would always recommend making if you are planning out your world. Here are all of the materials that we will be using throughout the build. Please make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. Step 1. Come all the way over to the front left hand corner of your grid, if you've made it, and then count backwards 1, 2, 3. On top of this block, place a spruce plank and then extend it to the right by 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Destroy two rows in the ground going right and replace those with polished diorite or your flooring of choice. I like polished diorite, sort of. <laughs> then, right of the diorite, place another spruce plank and extend that plank backwards by... The answer is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then extend across and then join forwards to the front of the build. Whilst the build is nice and open and we have pretty much a square-ish rectangle, we're going to dig out the entire floor and replace it using the diorite. This is a good opportunity for you to figure out whether you like diorite or not. It's not for everybody, but this build in particular just screams diorite to me. So, it's up to you whether you want to use it or not. I, as I mentioned, sort of like it. <laughs> so, I don't completely like it, but you know, you can't just use the same floors all the time. So, we're going for diorite on this occasion, and I think it kind of fits the vibe of the place. There we go. So, the entrance is where we already have a gap in our wall here, so I'm just going to use spruce doors to fill that gap. The build has a few windows, and I'd like to make those before tackling the walls. So, window number one, if we start on the front left corner of the build, and we place virtual planks on the left and right side, we want two rows of two on the left and right sides here. And then if we place light blue glass pane in between, and then add another row on top, that is door number one. Or, should I say, window number one. Technically, windows are doors if you're brave enough. Then, we want to place glass block above the doors, like this, so just directly above the doors. And then on the left and right sides of the build, we actually want to have the same window setup. We want to have on the front part of the build, one, two, three birch planks, and then a row of two glass pane. And it's going to be a row of two by two like this. And we want to have the same thing on the opposite side, so you can almost see directly through the build. Once that has been accomplished, Easy peasy, we want to make sure that we have three rows of birch planks on top of and in between and around the frame of the build. So directly on top of the spruce that we already have, we want to have the birch planks. So just on top of all the spruce, three rows of birch in, on, around, about. You guys get the idea. And this will be most of the wall. We've just got one more layer of the wall to do after this. So, perfect. That's looking pretty good. The next part of this is going to play is going to be to place spruce planks on top of each one of the four corners of your burger place with upside down spruce wood stairs in between. Just like this. So, it just adds a little bit of a a little bit of intrigue 
to the roof area. It's just a little bit more interesting than just your standard old spruce planks. And then we have to fill the roof in. The roof, you guys are going to love this. It's going to be polished diorite. That's right. So we're going to make the roof polished diorite. Same as the floor, because why not? Diorite is nothing but versatile. It can be a floor, it can be a ceiling, it can be a dirty looking block. You know, it's whatever you want it to be. So that's what we want to have so far. So the next part of this is we have a little bit of a canopy's a strong word. It's kind of just like a little bit of fabricy sort of looking stuff hanging over the front. I guess it is technically a canopy. But anyway, front of the build, the top row of birch. We want to go from left to right, place alternating blocks of red and white wool like this. Now we're going to swap out our blocks and we're going to grab string, red carpet, white carpet, yellow terracotta, brown concrete, yellow concrete birch, buttons, red banners, lime banners. And first of all, we're simply going to place string. Actually, that is going to be incorrect because that will be too high. So we're going to place birch string in front of and below and this is tricky because i don't know whether i'm simply going blind or there we go or whether i just can't see it but it's very hard to place string and know where it is without this handy little box appearing as we hover over it anyway the point is that we want the string to be placed underneath and in front of the previous layers of wool and that will further extend out our canopy and it just looks a little bit better add some color to the build as well which is very important so the next thing that we're going to do my favorite we're going to be sticking a giant burger on top of our burger place and it begins with the middle of the store so basically if you find the middle of the front of your build it's not that hard like if you find this diorite here if you try and find the center diorite it'll have four diorites on the left and it'll have four diorites on the right meaning you can count in and find the fifth diorite and there's your middle you want to place a yellow terracotta there extend it left and right you then want to place two diagonally placed yellow terracottas extending backwards on both sides. Extend back by one, two, and one, two. And then place two more inwards extending yellow terracottas, joining them together at the middle. You're making a circle is what we're getting at. And then we want to have a layer of brown concrete above and inside of the circle. So just kind of filling the shape that is left. We want to have a nice mainly beef patty above and inside of the bun. And then we're going to apply a layer of yellow concrete. This is going to sort of look like cheese like this. And then let's let's just stick yellow terracotta on top because it will just be a little bit easier although a little bit of a waste of blocks because this layer of yellow terracotta that we've just placed wants to extend outwards and basically mirror what we have just down below. So this is going to be the other half of the bun, like this. Perfect. Have you guys ever made yourself a burger, by the way, or a couple of burgers, and you've like separated the buns, and have you ever accidentally put like two tops of buns together or two bottoms of buns together? I have. The two tops of buns isn't great, but if you accidentally put the two bottom of the buns together, it's it's actually pretty good. Give it a try. Horrible waste of bread. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to now apply... So we're going to just uh, raise up the middle of the top of the bun here. And essentially what we're doing is, you know the shape that we placed on top of the... Pa it's essentially the same shape as like the yellow concrete and also the brown concrete. And my idea is to place birch buttons on top of the terracotta, preferably all facing the same way. I'm pretty sure it is, it is possible, right? To, oh, never mind. They all do place the same. I don't know why in my head I thought that you could place them another way. 
crazy town. I thought I genuinely did think you could play some another way. Huh. Well, I <laughs> I'm losing my mind. So that is your burger almost complete but you see we can add a little bit more detail to it so if you go around the sides of it if you want to add lettuce ew to your burger then you can and you can add like in the form of like lime banners and like red banners and stuff like you can make it look as though that there's ketchup on it you can make it look as though that there's lettuce you could even add additional cheese if you wanted to you could add again some more sauce in the form of um in the form of the carpets and this brings us on to the next part if we grab yellow carpet lime carpet loom uh white dye red dye black concrete spruce trapped or smooth what is it smooth just good old smooth stone and light gray concrete well we can have more cheese we can have some lettuce i mean you guys get the idea maybe it makes more sense to have that but you know, and I guess it kind of like depends on how, how if you like the look of it or not. Um, at a certain point, I think that adding too much stuff to it does look a little bit weird. But um, I don't know. Yeah, that you see that looks that looks a little bit. I don't quite like that. But you know, customize the burger until you're happy with it. Keep messing about with all of the banners and the carpets, and eventually you'll have something that you actually quite like. Anyway, we can get rid of the yellow carpet and the lime carpet now. Its only function was to mess with the burger. And we're going to grab red banners. So, we do have a sign to make, and it's simply going to say burgers. So, if we throw down a loom and some red banners, or um, place a red banner in the loom. I shouldn't have got out all of these other materials, to be quite honest with you. Um, let's put, put some white dye in there, and then let's put all of these back in. So, the first letter that we're going to make is B, which is a vertical row of white on the left, on the right, and then a horizontal row of white, top, bottom, middle. Next would be U. So that is vertical row on the right, vertical row on the left, horizontal across the bottom. Next would be R, which is a vertical row on the left, horizontal on top. My bad. No. Horizontal on top. And then a diagonal row, top left corner to bottom right corner. Next would be G. So G is going to be... Guys, I may or may not have accidentally messed up the G banner. So we're going to place a brand new red banner in there with white dye. And to start off G, you need a vertical row of white on the right. Grab that, put that in. Throw the white dye out, red dye in. Make the top half of the banner red. Grab that, put that back in, and then it's smooth sailing because you can just throw the white dye in there and then you can have a horizontal row across the bottom, vertical on the left, and then horizontal on the top. Boom. G. So the next two letters that we have to make, Berg, Urs, so E, horizontal row of white on the top, bottom, middle, and vertical on the left. Boom. E. So, then, we would need another R, but we've already got one, so if you want to make one, feel free, but I'm just going to reuse mine. And then we need an S, which is horizontal on the top, horizontal row of white on the bottom, and then a diagonal row of white top left corner to bottom right corner. And then, that allows us to, on top of our sign, starting, I do believe it's two rows inwards, let me get this correct, two rows inwards, so on the left here, one, two, so B. U R G E R S Burgers. And it kind of just pulls everything together a little bit. I think it really is a nice turning point for the build. So let's get rid of all of this and let's see what we can do with the materials left because we are sort of. We're, we're kind of, you know, we're running out of uses for these things. So we need smooth stone, light grey concrete, we'll be needing black concrete and a little bit of red carpet and then that will mostly be it we'll have to grab some new stuff so out in front of the burger place the burger shop i don't quite know oh no oh but I, luckily i have red i have red carpet perfect so yeah you've got to be very careful with the string i wish carpet could fly if only this was aladdin so we're going to place smooth stone 
in front of the burger place, like this. There we go. That will just connect to the street, or at least my street. I use smooth stone for my streets. Oh, we also need spruce trap doors, too. So, there's going to be a sign, by the way. There's going to be a sign, and it's going to be placed right here. The sign's going to be black concrete, right at the bottom side of this window. And we're going to have spruce trap doors on the ground leading up to the top of the sign here, the black concrete. We'll have a spruce trap door on the left. And then I want to have a spruce trap door on top of this. Now, I think I can just place it, yeah, because there isn't a string there. And then later on, this will connect to a seat and we'll have to make a new banner for this. So now that we've done that, we're just going to head inside rather quickly and we're going to apply some more details. So right of this window here, we're going to place a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven light gray concrete. We may even make it eight. Shall we make it eight? Let's make it eight so that it comes almost all the way up to the wall. Let's place some red carpet in front of this. Perfect. And then if we come to the back here, we want to leave a gap of two and then place a row of one, two, three, four light gray concrete. And then up above this, we're going to leave a gap of one and we're going to have... Uh, actually, yeah, we're going to have, we'll leave a gap of one, and then starting from the right side, two rows of three black concrete. And ladies and gentlemen, I think that we've actually hit the point where we've kind of exhausted all of these materials. And not in the usual sort of way where, you know, we're going to need some of them again. I think that we've actually kind of used them all, and I'm not sure that we'll be seeing any of them ever again. So, let me grab everything that we need to finish off the build, and then we can put an end to this. Okay, I think I've figured it out. So, we're going to be starting off with red banner, green dye, brown dye, orange dye, red never brick stairs, smooth quartz slab, red candles, yellow candles, and flower parts. So, first of all, we have another banner to make. I know, by the way, I, I did say that we wouldn't get any repeat materials. I, I did think we'd be using an orange banner, but it turns out it's going to be red, okay? We could have also used green, but anyway. For our red banner in the loom, with some green dye, we want to make the lower half of the banner green. Or it might make more sense for it. Nah, we'll make the lower half of the banner green. We'll stick to the plan. Throw some orange dye in there. And make the upper half of the banner orange. And the low, not the lower, by the way. You want to make the top third and the lower third orange, not the half. So... Finally, grab brown dye and place a row of brown dye straight through the middle. Now, this is, in my opinion, the most burgery-ish looking banner that I can make. People probably are able to make a more burgery looking banner than this. The only thing is that I I do consider that maybe the green should have be on, should be on top of the lettuce, but I suppose you can kind of put lettuce anywhere. Although I would prefer my sauce on top. Feel free to change that around as you see fit. But now that we've done that, we're going to place red never brick stairs to the left of the sign that we made earlier. In front of this, we want to have two rows of smooth quartz slabs with red never brick stairs on the opposite side. I'm realizing that we're going to run into an issue with these silly candles in a second. I want to have on this table red candles and yellow candles. This isn't usually an issue in Java, but we need a solid block on bedrock to place the candles, and there we go. Red candle, yellow candle, kind of looks like saucers. So we're also going to chuck a flower pot on there. We're gonna grab item frame, green concrete, birch pressure plate, throw that burger banner away, and then grab no trap door. So on the table, it's just nice and mixed. We have saucers, flower pot, and a an item frame. And I just think it looks quite nice out side of here. I'm, I'm quite happy with how it looks. Simple, yet kind of like really illustrates what goes on here. So the next thing that we're going to do is come inside and we're going to make a couple more tables in the same sort of fashion. So in the corner, a couple of stairs and then we'll have just one row of smooth, smooth quartz slabs. Stairs on the opposite side, separate using a green concrete and then stairs two quartz slabs, and then stairs on the opposite side. Now, depending upon what you kind of like want on these tables, 
Um, whether you want sources and stuff, we probably do. So it, it it'd be better for us to quickly just put like um, maybe like a red candle here, yellow candle here, destroy underneath, and then place a slam. But I, it's so annoying that we have to use this workaround. Hopefully that'll get fixed. But candles, and then on one table, say put a flower pot, and on the other table, put an item frame. Birch pressure plate on top of the green concrete, and an oak trap door flipped down. Kind of looks like a bin. So, now that we've done that, I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out. And by the way, I'm going to put a couple of flower pots just back here on top of this counter space. And I'm going to grab... What am I going to grab here? So, quartz stairs, weighted pressure plate, end rod, iron trap door, chests. And we're just going to place uh, a ceiling light. And the ceiling light is... Well, th this build doesn't really have a middle exactly. It does, but it's two blocks, I do believe. So it's like the row where the counter is and then the red carpet in front. So I'm going to opt for putting the light here where the red carpet is. And I think that basically what I'm going to have is an end rod, two rows inwards on either side with then iron trap doors under... <laughs> Uh, iron trap doors underneath just to look kind of like that I don't know how to describe it but that kind of like um, tube lighting sort of an alternate to this is to place like levers where the end rods are and then connect them together using end rods but I kind of like this for some reason uh, the counter space quite simply just going to be a couple of smooth quartz stairs with some pressure plates on, on the sides maybe I'll place that here kind of like in this configuration or maybe here so there's a little bit of space on the sides i quite like that um in the corner here in the back right corner one two three chests stacked up in the corner and then we're gonna grab iron iron bars painting brewing brewing stand that didn't sound right for some reason detector rail polished and inside stairs so next to the chests two rows of three block of iron with an iron bar in the middle. Kind of just looks like a good old simple fridge. Then, brewing stand next to the parts. Then, in this corner here, a couple of blast furnaces, detector rails on top, lever gap of one, iron bars, and the side stairs above. There we go. Now, all we're going to do is... So, what I want to... What I want to have is just a load of one by ones. <laughs> That's not what I'm looking for. Um, just a load of one by ones that vaguely look like food. Now, these are the most foody looking ones. I might just leave that. Something like this. It's just nice and colourful, and it's instead of having to use banners all the time. I mean, alternatively, if one wanted to, you could grab this banner here, and we could place the banner on the side as well. You know, if you wanted to, I mean, it's, it's up to you, and you could hang it in a couple more places. If you're not happy with the lighting situation... Feel free to add a lantern or two uh, about the place if you did feel as though it was a little bit dark. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm quite happy with this. We've sort of done. Let me clean up and then we'll take a look at this. So this is what your build should look like once it has been 100% fully completed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial hopefully you like the build i'm really happy with this for just a nice small simple street filling burger restaurant burger bar burger place i don't know what to call this but like a fast food just like unfranchised burger place i'm really happy with it if you have enjoyed this tutorial please do remember to hit that like button as it helps me in the channel out very very much Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that little bell next to the subscription button if you want to have everything sent directly to your sub box. Very, very important. If you want to make anything else by me, check out the card system, the description below and the top of the comment section for more. You're looking for the City Builds playlist. It has loads and loads of stuff in there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.